you must be overjoyed as your first home win of the season. But uh, I'm sure you'll tell me that was, you know, they fully deserved that. I think it's my first home win since I've been a manager, isn't it? So, <laughs> no, no, um, you know, you look at the performance. Um, We've been having those performances. I think you know the difference is like we spoke about before. You know when we spoke at Chester is the lapse of concentration, and, and, and I think not having that gives a platform to build on. I mean, you look at their first goal, and it's it kind of epitomises where we are at the moment with you know conceding goals, which is you know annoying because obviously you want to keep clean sheets. But no, I thought you know the lads were excellent. You know I'm really proud of the lads, the work effort they put in. You know you look at Finney and Toe. Um, you know you look at some of their obviously we have running stats, and they're doing 12, 13, 14 k a game. So they're really, really putting shifts in for the boys, and it's you know it, it, it tells out there. You know, I think they were void of ideas towards towards the end, and I think they just went kind of a bit more direct. Which obviously, when you're chasing the game, you do that. And I think we stood it to a man, and you know, we showed what we're about. You talked about you know you like to see your side in control, yep. uh, and I thought you were. You know, you got your nose in front, and despite pressure from Fylde, uh, you know, you you that you're just going to deny them every opportunity. Yeah, we worked on pressing, we worked on pockets of space, um, well not giving them pockets of space and I think we did that well. I think we sat off a little bit towards the end, which again when you're hanging on to things I think sometimes you do that. But no, I, I just thought we were excellent, you know, competing with what's gone on this year, you know, with the club financially and, you know, with the restrictions that we've had to, to compete against a side like that and, and come out victorious is um, really, really pleasing for me. And great to see uh, John Lewis still on the score sheet, two, two more goals today, he denied a hat-trick too. Yeah, and, you know, we spoke, and I know there was questions regarding us, our goals this season, um, but I always believe, um, and we believe in what we're doing, and, you know, the patterns we create, and, you know, the overloads in wide areas and things like that, and goals are always going to come, it just took, it just takes time, and, you know, there's still a lot of work to do, but there's, there's no doubt about it, you know, like I said, I, I don't think we should have lost yet, but we have, so it, it is what it is, but the character of the boys, especially to concede five the other night and then come here and, and go goal down and against top of the league and then go again and, and score and score again and be resilient be organised um, I think was was excellent and you know I'm just proud of my squad I'm sure you'll want to give a word for, for Brandon Hall's performance today first time he's played yeah he's been out for a while he's been out for a long time and for him to come in in a big game like that and perform the way he did you know I spoke about it in, in the dressing room we had words on Thursday um, obviously I, I had a conversation with Paul White as well and I know it's difficult you know, we've brought him in, we've backed him and you know unfortunately obviously he's had the game he's had and you know you look at it and if that happens when you're in the playoffs you probably just play him again but uh, unfortunately where we're at currently you know where we are in, in, in the league we need to make a change and obviously that change has worked today but you know White well, is a great character but what I would say is Brandon's been excellent tonight you know excellent coming for things um, parts, parts of his game that I haven't been happy with was his coming for crosses and you know he did that with, in, in abundance today which I was really pleased with and his distribution speaks for itself anyway How much of a difference did the crowd make today? Okay, It was only 800 or whatever um, how, how did you see that? I think last year we struggled with the crowd the lads as a whole to, to deal with the expectations of a crowd and you know, looking at the players we've brought in this year, there a lot of them have got football league experience and are used to playing in front of the crowd. And for me, that was the difference today. The crowd just getting behind us, pushing us forward, giving us that focus, cheering. You know, when things were going against us, they were getting us going and, and, and pushing us on. And you know, I said it, they'd be the 12th man, and I know it's cliche, but they really, really made a difference for us today. And you know, that that was that was always because of them. How pleasing was the, the overall team ethic, team performance out there today? Yeah, again, like we spoke about it, no, nothing's changed. Um, you know, I hope the fans can see now. I think sometimes it's difficult when you see it on TV to what it's like actually here. But you know, you can't fault the lads' work rate, and my teams will always have work rate, work rate, and they'll always put effort in. And you know, they did that today, and I'm, I'm just so pleased that we've, we've come today, and we've obviously got good performance at home as well in front of fans, so they get to see what we're about and. You know, hopefully we can build on that now. I mean, for obviously we haven't got a league game now. We're going to the cup, but you know we can keep building on that now. You know, we you look at our bench. We're light. Obviously, Ken, Kennedy's gone down. Um, obviously injured now. What we do about that, I don't know. You know, we've we've got a couple of players in the squad that you know. To be honest, I don't get paid. So you know that's the situation we're at as a football club at the moment. But we'll keep pushing. The lads want to be at the club. They're building for us. They're building for the club. They're building for me. And you know they want to they want to kick on and really do something this season. So you know we've got to stay in it, in it together. And if it means we've got to drop Jan in there, then you know at centre half or you know Toby's been itching to to play, then we've got to drop Tobes in there and he's got to play. Well, being you know the FA Trophy won't be on the top 
priority for you. So you mentioned that you you have got options to to spread it around a little bit in in terms of the squad. Yeah, um, we need to keep momentum, don't we? You know, I think that's important. We're not going to take anyone lightly. Um, I don't take any game lightly. I want to win every game we play. Um, so obviously we're going to Tuesday. Tuesday night we'll, we'll prepare for them. Uh, Monday in training. Obviously the lads will have a good weekend now, and then we'll go prepare for them like it's a league game. And then we'll, they'll come here and we'll, we'll expect to beat them. But at the end of the day, again, we've still got to do the basics right. And if we do the basics right, we win the game. If we don't, then we don't. You mentioned the injury there to Kennedy Digi. What about the other injured players? How close are they to, to coming back? Uh, ben had an issue with his groin, so he'll, he'll be, you know, hope, hoping, hope to get him back over the Christmas period. Um, obviously, Demi's obviously moved on now, um, and Kelsey's pretty much there now. Um, obviously, did did a bit of work today. He's had a niggly hammy, and obviously, people that know hamstrings, if you do your hamstring, you can be out for a while. So, you know, we thought it best pull him out, get him right, work him with the physio, strength conditioning to get, to get his hamstring right, and then obviously we'll, we'll get him back in. So he, he he's not far away. So we're hoping to get him back next week. Well, well done today, and hopefully more of the same on Tuesday. Cheers, thank you. Thanks a lot.